and we're back what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel i know it's been a minute since we've done a release so today's really exciting as you can see it is early morning again just like the last time that i did this uh and let's just say i'm heading back to michigan so uh for those that don't know i'm about four and a half hours away from where the jeep's being built right now so it's not like i can go up there and i can give updates every single day but uh it's been a little bit it's been a couple weeks the jeep's been there and i hear we've made some really really big progress so i don't know you have to hang out to watch out obviously i'm not going to bore you with a four and a half hour drive but i'll tell you what i'll check back in here shortly once i make it to michigan Alright guys, listen, we just showed up to America's Most Wanted 4x4. If you've watched the videos prior, you know I'm crazy excited about coming to this facility every time. It is just unreal. Um, so, let's go check out what's uh, behind the scenes here. Again, I know I've been here, but I swear every time we come here, there's a different project going on. And it's still just like a kid in a candy store. And just, oh my goodness. I mean, we're just looking at this stuff and there's Jeep after Jeep. There is engine conversion after engine conversion. We've got a Dodge Demon, Gladiator. I mean, how could you not be excited every time we come here? All right, so one super cool thing that I love about America's Most Wanted and when they do these engine conversions and all this crazy stuff that happens is they have this fab shop over here. And I want to walk you over here and introduce you to somebody here at the fab shop. So we have Peyton with America's Most Wanted. She leads the fab shop. Uh, so she's going to tell us a little bit about what happens and what all this kind of contraption means. So Peyton, tell us about it. All right, so on our frames, for our Gladiator frames, we add our in our winch pins, our sway bar tubes, and then we go along and we add our very awesome coil towers, have our track bar bracket, our bumps, we got our engine mounts here, then we move back here, we got our long arm brackets, then we do a drive shaft modification for our one piece drive shaft, then our rear towers, rear bumps, that's about all there is to it for a JT frame. So this is crazy, so what's awesome with this is they you can order a Jeep and you can say you want these America's Most Wanted packages and conversions and while you're waiting on your Jeep to come in they're working on this type of turnkey setup ahead of time. They're building these frames, they're getting everything welded up to handle what's going to be given to these and then they send it to powder coat it has this oe feel so as soon as this thing goes up underneath your jeep with the engine conversion and everything that's attached to it it literally looks like it is a original equipment manufacturer type product coming out this is super cool and probably one of my favorite things about america's most wanted four by four all right so we are walking out into America's most wanted 4x4's facility, and this is where all the magic's happening. There's all sorts of builds going on here, ranging from 6'4's to Hellcats to Demons and even Elephants. So we can kind of just show a little bit around. This one right here, we're looking at, this is a Jeep Gladiator Elephant package. So this is the AMW 1000 package. It comes with a 6080 axle conversion. Uh, again, the AMW 8 lug. This thing is just incredible. I mean, it just doesn't get much cooler than a thousand horsepower. But, you know, there is other things that are just as cool. So, 
We've got a sweet one over here, another Gladiator. This is the AMW 840 package, which has the Dodge Demon conversion. They paired up to an 8HP 95 transmission. Again, it has an AMW 8 lug, uh, 68 in actual conversion on this thing. Again, just another sweet ride. There are so many cool vehicles here. I just want to show you every single one of them and talk about every single one of them, but I'll point out a couple more. We have one right here. This is a Demon Powered JLU Wrangler. This one is actually going to be at Barrett Jackson's uh, auction. So if you're interested in buying a Demon Powered JL, the uh, Barrett Jackson Auto uh, auctions coming up, this can be yours. Again, eight lug conversion, 6080s. Everything in here is just built to just so extreme. I just can't even just compress all my emotions and how cool this stuff is. But again, another demon powered Wrangler in this bay here. And we just continue down the line and it's just conversion after conversion and, and demons and Hellcats and elephants and six fours. But as we continue down, there is one at the end that's kind of special and you can kind of see it through, but we can see that crystal granite one back in the back. And that's right, folks, that's gonna be ours. We're gonna talk about it here in a little bit, but what I want you to do is all these Jeeps that you see in the video, I want you to tell me which one's your favorite. What makes you the most excited? What options could be changed out? You know, look at the, the wheels and tires and suspension and everything that kind of encompasses it. I want to hear your all's opinion on that uh, because that may help us decide certain directions we go with ours. So uh, drop the comments in the bottom. You can ask questions. Make sure you're liking the video and all this other stuff. Subscribe and all that that happens below me, make sure you're hitting all that. Ask the questions, I'll make sure I get back to you. So let's continue on. So I'm walking around the facility, I'm looking for my Jeep. Everybody's staring at me because I got this camera in my face and uh, kind of blushing a little bit, but guess what? I have found my Jeep and it looks a little different than the last time that I brought it here. So, you got the body up in the air, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it, it, it all still looks to be in stock format, besides the fact that we've lifted the body. And uh, how about that sweet little uh, 3.6 engine we've got going on there? And I don't know, is the reality that we stay this? Are we doing something different? I mean, do we set this back on here? What's going on? I don't know. What I do know is we're at America's Most Wanted. I very, very highly doubt that this engine will stay with this Jeep. Holy crap, guys, we're here, America's Most Wanted, and uh, the Jeep is making some huge progress and just staring at it right now. I seriously can't tell you how I feel. The excitement, the joy that's going through my emotions and all this, and I like, I feel like I should show you, but I don't know yet. I, I, you have to show them, show them. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we could start. Maybe we could start here, just just right at the right at the end. All right, I just got to do it. So guys, here it is. Check this out. America's most wanted build going on. Prep for Easter Jeep Safari. There's a lot of stress going on, but listen, we're making headway. Here we go. Look at this. This is the Dodge Demon engine conversion. Straight from Mopar, 840 horsepower. How cool is that? This thing, massive, lots of power. And again, let's go ahead and show. We've got a Dana 60 up under here at the front and some awesome components to go along with it. Full set of uh, Steer Smarts steering components. And one of my favorite, obviously everybody knows my love, for Bilstein. We are running a Bilstein 
coil over all four corners. But here it is. We are making progress. East of Jeep Safari, right around the corner. Dodge Demon Gladiator. How about that? So, I mean, you can't come to America's Most Wanted 4x4 and not jump behind the wheel of some sort of V8-powered vehicle. So, I don't know, I'm seeing a uh, Hellcat-powered Gladiator right here, and uh, let's see what this bad boy sounds like. Oh my gosh, it's amazing, it's amazing. I mean, how can you not be excited just hearing that 707 horsepower just roaring through a three inch exhaust all the way back? This thing is so sick. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna jump behind the wheel. See how uh, much fun we can have. My forehead is glistening. Sunshine. All right, so the time has come to leave America's Most Wanted. This has been pretty epic, just like every time I've been up here. Uh, the generosity of the leadership team and the staff uh, here at the facility, the quality of work that goes into every single one of these builds is just so impressive. Uh, getting behind the, the Hellcat Gladiator, getting to experience uh, how smooth and OE style feeling that is and being lifted in on 40s with unbelievable power is just it's just so incredible so again uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video remember to like subscribe comment all that other fancy stuff that uh, helps us keep this kind of thing going I hope you enjoyed this video everybody check out America's Most Wanted and at this time we are out Are you, are you shooting? Are we good? Alright.